So what they want us to do um, in the next two hours is to interact with you and find out what your challenges are as school owners. Try and reflect on what you think are the challenges you are facing as school owners, as people of operating schools in the private sector, in twos. Yeah. Write this out on paper and we'll come back to you, you will share those ideas with us. Doctor, do your doctor work. 
Leave teachers to do, yes. So it is this like the, 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 the business of education is the business that everybody is. Yeah. 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 I would still want to say something but another perception. Uh, our major challenge there is negative parental influence. It comes across every area of the education. Number one, you can't discipline children as you want to as teachers. Because the parents will tell you don't touch my child. Once you touch that child, that will making a lot of trouble for you to change the child's school and pass on other people alongside. Number two, examination and practice by the parents. They are going to pay thousands of naira for by, their child to pass. By the parents. Yes. 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 They have what they call miracle center. So when the children get to SS2, you just see them disappearing from the school. Especially so, and then secondly, the cultural values I believe doesn't make them to aspire high to go to school. I can become a politician, a politician by influence and get into any position by influence. All those who have doctorate, if you don't have the job, those who don't, they don't go to school have. I may not have a knowledge of that office, but because I know somebody, my father is somebody, just put me there and buy the certificates. You go to Delta State, we have a lot of private universities. We have a lot of Yahoo boys, even in JS2. It's a pleasure to be your this this morning. I want to thank Dr. Obro for the opportunity. Well, we see that your job is really something that is awesome. Your contribution to society is very important because every everybody that is somebody in society is the aspiring the educational system. And if educationists like yourselves and founders of schools like yourself that made it possible. And so we want to say we appreciate what you're doing. But it's not enough. Your partnership and collaboration with the media and PR consultants will take your school further than it has gone now. So there's still a lot you can gain by partnering with the media and PR consultants. And that is why I'm here today. So come along with us on this journey. You have a lot to benefit from it. So where, which organization do you work? My name is Christian Oluwa in Kafadari. I work with the New Students of Nigeria. I'm a senior editor there. I My name is Ozona Ononyo. I work with uh, TVC News as the executive editor. Um, my coming here today is actually an eye-opener to further understand what teachers go through. For all the money in the world, I can't be a teacher. I can't handle this. I can't. Where you'll be putting in your life to make a child better, and the parent is compounding the problem. Well, I, I just read something recently that parenting had become more difficult than ever because unparented children have become parents. And it summarizes where we are. But I just want to say a big thank you to all of you, seriously. A big thank you. Um, we appreciate you. I appreciate you. The, the person that runs the school of my, where my children attend, she is here. And maybe after now, I'll buy her a bottle of wine. Seriously. <laughs> because I, I feel it more now. I feel it more now. When they say, if you do not pass mathematics, you repeat the class. Parents struggle. Perhaps now, I understand better. Good morning, everybody. My name is Ayakodawadi. I'm a staff of Silver Television. I'm a video editor and a producer. Uh, you know, we all know the put out of video when it comes to sending information, educating people. You know, in my own part, I can help when it comes to creating videos, motion graphics. You know, and, and lastly, before I leave, I want to say thank you. I want to thank everybody here, the teachers especially. You know, teaching is not something that's very easy. But for better, I don't like talking in public. You know, and <laughs> very temperamental. You know, it takes a lot of patience to be a picture. And uh, seriously, I give you guys kudos and thank you all for the good job you are doing.
get exposed internationally. So education training does help, really. I'm able to do what I'm doing because I studied up to PhD levels in some of the best countries around the world. So I encourage people to go and study education, but having a degree in education doesn't solve all the problems. You, you must be training, you must be sending people who have the intellectual capacity to benefit from the best education possible. So when we uh, send those who are scoring only 160 out of, 400, out of 400 to go and do education, we are, we are changing the system, we are, we are, we are, doing, we are doing a lot of wrong to others. So